Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome to part three of my aloe bonsai and more. Today will be heavy on the more. My original plan was to plant a forest around this ancient temple, but I don't have enough cuttings yet to create a forest. I think instead I'll plant the ancient temple behind my existing Sarissa forest. That'll be in front of the monk. Also today I'm going to be planting the cedar clump that's just naturally growing on top of this rock. I don't think this is even actually a rock. It looks like coral or something. It has a unique texture to it. This was given to me by my friend Harold. Let's get out the tools and start today's work in the bonsai zone. This planting has been sitting on my bench for quite some time. I just had a paper towel wrapped around it to keep the roots moist. So today I'm finally going to get around to planting it. I've got my drainage screen cut, so I'll place it in the bottom of the pot. And then I'll try and arrange the rock. I don't have a lot of choices. I can angle it like that. I can have it straight, angle it back. So I, I think I'll probably angle it like that. Have the rock sitting on the bottom of the pot and fill the rest in with soil. Make sure these roots are down in the soil. Looking at it from the front, I've decided to tilt it the other way. So this kind of leads your eye in towards the trees. When I had it the other way, it, the rock just looked too flat to the viewer. So I think this is a slightly better composition. So I'll, I'll make sure all my roots are tucked down. They look pretty good. And then I'll start filling it in with soil. You can probably hear the neighbor cracking his whip in the background. He does that. I'll get the soil worked in around the rock. I usually don't put hardy trees in clay pots. I know this pot will crack over the winter, but this is just a inexpensive pot I bought at a secondhand store. So hopefully it'll get through the winter without cracking, but I doubt it. I'll give the planting a good watering now. That should do. And next I'll get some moss to plant on the surface of the soil. All right, here I go with the moss. There's some roots here that I want to make sure are covered. So I'm going to kind of place my moss a little higher there. Like that. That should give those roots lots of moisture until they grow down into the soil more. I'll put the next clump down here. I'll put this thicker clump in behind here. I'll have to break it up. It's too big to fit back here. Well, that's looking good. The scientific name for this tree is Thuya occidentalis. So it's not a true cedar, but everyone calls them cedars in this region. It's called a northern white cedar. Just a little bit more in the corner here, and some back here. It is almost done. Okay, I'll give that another watering. There. I'll rotate the tree around so you can see it from all angles. So this is the front. There's the back. The reason this is the back is there's two smaller trees behind the main tree here. So I chose that as the back. And back to the front. Yeah, so quite a nice little planting. I'm happy with it. I can see this someday becoming part of a larger landscape possibly. And we'll see. My next task is to place the ancient ruins in the back of this forest. This pot is my very first 3D printed pot. It's made with PLA plastic. It's a biodegradable plastic. This pot's been in the greenhouse and you can see it's bowed down a little bit in the middle. So it has a little bit of distortion. It's quite common on clay pots, especially the larger ones, to get a similar type distortion in them. I never did paint this pot. So today I'm gonna get out the paints and give it a coat of color. I'm going to start the painting procedure by moving all the moss away from the edge of the pot. 
making sure I have a nice lip to paint there so it's all exposed. My next step is to clean the edges of the pot, getting rid of any of the fertilizer stains so the paint sticks really well. We had two days of solid rain, so it's kind of nice to be outside again. I'm all ready for painting now. I'm going to start with a gray primer coat to look like gray clay, and then I may go over with a color kind of top coat to look like a glaze. So here I go. Try not to paint my moss. I will do the bottom once the sides dry so I can turn it over. While the paint's drying, I'll do some work on my ficus benjamina. There's lots of yellow leaves in the canopy that I'll have to pick out. These are just old leaves that are, you know, falling off. I think I've got all the old yellow leaves removed now. The rest look nice and green. The tree's been doing lots of growing for the first part of summer. So now it's time to prune it back. So I'll put my hand over top. And I'm thinking maybe somewhere about there. Just sort of a rounded canopy, keeping it, you know, keeping as much width as I can in the canopy, just here and here, and just kind of rounding that top out. I'll just prune the tips off and kind of slowly reduce it down. I don't want to take too much off at once. I'm going to try and get a little more height off the top of the tree. I think the height is pretty good now. I'm going to try and get the canopy rounded more now. I think the profile of the canopy is quite good now. Next I'm going to go in and sort out the structure of some of the branches. I want to go in and prune off any branches that are going in towards the center of the tree so they're all fanning outward nicely. There's one here. One here. This will let a little more light into the interior of the tree. I think I'm going to take this one off here. Reduce the height a bit more. I also want to sort out some of this structure down below. I've got a branch growing the inside of a curve here I can remove. Right now it's pretty hard to see the trunk line of the tree. There's one coming straight out here I'll remove. Another one here coming straight out that I'll remove. Straight out towards the viewer. Like an eye poker branch. Another one here could be removed. Starting to see the trunk line a bit. Get rid of some of these dead leaves in here. I have a lot of branches coming from this one area here. So I'm going to simplify it a bit. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven branches growing from this elbow here. The thickest ones are towards the back here. I definitely have to reduce this area. It's just becoming too congested. So I'll have to pick the nicest branches and remove the rest. So I'll start with this little hanging branch. It's pretty insignificant anyway. I do like this one because it comes out and fills in this area. But there's a thicker branch behind that has some weak growth on it. I could remove that. Tough decisions. I've got two thick branches back here. Here and here. 
that are kind of going the same direction, I think I'm going to have to remove one of them. And it's a tough choice which one. I'm looking for the ones with the nicest flow lines. This one, the trunk comes up and then it kind of dips down. So it, it kind of spoils the flow lines of the tree. So I'm gonna take it off. Um, I have no idea what the tree's gonna look like. It may look a little strange at first, but who knows. So here I go, I'm gonna take this right off. Like that. Next, I've got a lot of branches near the base of this one I want to keep at the back, so I'm going to remove all those two. A few aerial roots growing in this area. So we'll just get these cuts cleaned up as much as I can. That looks good there. If you can see that. Now I'll look at it from the front. I'll remove this one, that thick one that's kind of uh, not very vigorous, so take that one off too. There's one behind here I can take off, just a little skinny one. Take that leaf off there, this one off. There's one in here I can remove, it's duplicated. Take that out, going straight up too. Here's a look at the tree from the distance with it, this section cleaned up a bit. Definitely looks better. Now I do have a branch coming from the inside of a curve here that I could also remove, I think I will. Like that. I have a dead branch in here I can remove. I've got a branch growing from the inside of a curve here towards the back I'll remove also. Like that. I've been trying to decide for many years whether to keep this small branch down near the base of the trunk here. I think it's time to finally get rid of it. I think it would look better without it. Okay, here I go. It's going to be hard getting in here. I'm going to cut it off first, and then I'll try and reduce that kind of bulge where it comes out from the base. I may have to snip it in sections. It'll leave an ugly scar, but uh, in time, it will heal. That's coming off. Nibble away at it. Trying to get between those aerial roots. I've got that pruning mark cleaned up on the side of the trunk. I'm going to put the ficus aside now and get out the 3D printed pot. The primer is dry, so it's time to put on a glaze color coat now. I've got two colors of blue here. I've got kind of a uh, 
darker duck egg blue and then a lighter one. So I'm going to try painting the darker color as a glaze on top of this gray pot and then I'll put flecks of the uh, lighter color in to kind of simulate a glazed pot if I can. I've stirred my paint up so here I go. I'm not sure how this blue color is going to look but uh, we'll see. So I sort of want to drip this down the sides of the pot to look like glaze. See how it's kind of running there? I won't paint the feet, it'll just be the upper surface. I've got the dark blue coat on the pot now. So now I'll go over with the lighter color and create some flecks of contrast. When I open the lighter color, it looks more of a greeny color, so I'm not sure how this is going to look. I'm going to kind of just put some flecks of it on. I think the colors are looking pretty good together, actually. I think that's got it. Here's a close-up of the paintwork. These are uh, matte colors, so I may have to go over with a shiny clear coat to make it look like a glaze. While the paint is drying here, I'll start working on the ficus again. My next job is to prune the moss down. It's getting really thick and it's covering up the surface roots. I'll start by picking away the moss at the base of the tree. uncovering the root base and the rest will get scissor pruned back to size. I'm starting to see the surface roots way down here. So the moss was getting quite thick. I've got all the moss roughly cleared away from the root base. So next I'll get a toothbrush and try and clean it even further. Alright. Next I'll get the scissors and prune down the surrounding moss. I'll use my curved surgical scissors for this. I'll just come in and prune it back. That looks a little more trim. Next I'll trim away the moss from the edge of the pot just to clean it all up. I've got the root base and the moss cleaned up at the base of the tree. It makes quite a difference and shows off those nice surface roots. I'll give the tree a good watering and then put it back on the bench. I think that'll do it. The paint is still drying on the 3D printed pot. I've got it in the sun over here. Right there. So I think we'll do a, a bit of a garden tour. We'll check up on some of the trees for the show. There's my ficus. Roots are looking really good on that. 
canopy is growing and needs trimming again. That's good, so we'll do that. Austrian pine's doing all right. I'm not sure if I'll show that yet. I may wire it. Um, if I get time before the show to wire it, I may put it in the show, but I'm not sure. My Schaeffler in the 3D printed pot and stand. It's looking good. I think it'll be showable anyway. And there's my spruce. I've got the pot on a tilt to get extra drainage in this wet weather. My asparagus fern is looking good. It's nice and full, the canopy. I think that'll look good for the show. My yucca forest, I pruned the tops off and they're starting to grow in again. If you can see, there's a growing tip here coming out. This one has two. Not much happening on this on oh, this one. It's got a slight one coming out on the side here, a little bud. This one's got one coming out here. Yeah, they're all starting to sprout. Uh, I've got 22 days before the show now. So I'm hoping they look really good for the show. All these new shoots come out and then I can remove the old leaves and just leave the smaller new ones. That's my hope anyway. Um, the little cedar spirit tree is doing really well here. It's growing nice new foliage. The root over rock pine is doing quite well there. I've got the Eiffel Towers on top to keep the birds away. My grapefruit tree is looking good. It's got a nice root base on that one. And the larch forest, all the new shoots are growing in now. So I'm hoping by showtime I can keep the new shoots, which will have smaller needles, and remove all these older, really long ones. So the trees will look more miniature. The elephants are doing fine. My cascading cedar is doing fine. The avatar grove is doing fine. I added a little soapstone sculpture in there. Looks kind of cool. I may put this cedar in the show. This is my multi-trunk cedar. Needs pruning, so hopefully that'll be coming in an upcoming video. There's my other sp spirit tree. It's doing well, growing nicely on, up top. My old apple tree, still not doing great, but it's still alive. The Schaeffler is growing really well, no complaints. So closer to showtime, I'll defoliate that and prune it. I'm going to show it just bare with no leaves. I still haven't found a pot for my larch here. I'm hoping I can find a pot and get that in the show. If not, next year. The ponytail palm is doing really well. You can see there's a new root that's come out of the soil here and is growing up. So yeah, it's really growing well. It's getting nice foliage up top. And I'm getting some really nice interesting trunk texture. Sort of almost veins on it. They bulging up. Looks really good. So a bit of landscaping. That could be ready for the show. The acacias are doing really well. These are my African acacia trees. Um, some of them are getting quite thick. If you look at this one back here. It's, yeah, doing really well. So it's possible, a bit of pruning, if I put some zebras or giraffes or something in the landscape, it could look good for a show. I don't know. We'll see. 
try going in the greenhouse now. It might just fog the lens up, but uh, maybe if I keep the door open. There's my rainforest. You can see the pot down on the floor of the greenhouse. And the carpoke trees have grown really, really tall. They're doing well. My ficus over here, it's grown a lot of aerial roots. And they're still growing. So that's looking pretty good. My bougainvillea, starting to get a lot of flowers on it. There's more flowers coming here. It's losing its shape a bit, but uh, I'm hoping it's in good flower for the show. Who knows? The ficus that I cut the canopy back in one of the previous videos is growing really well again. It's uh, starting to grow and fill in. The sarissas that are styled to look like the African acacias, the canopy looks really good. Everything's growing really well. No problems there. My jade, it's possible I might put that in the show. We'll see. And then the Portula caryophora forest is looking good. Leaves are coming in nice and tiny up top with all that pruning I've been doing. Yeah, it's looking good. My ficus cutting of a cutting is doing quite well too. A lot of roots growing out from the bottom of the pot across the top of the table there. Ficus plain is growing well. Starting to get a little more denser up top. Um, my ginseng ficus in the 3D printed bonsai pot and stand. It's doing well for a, a really young tree. Might be in the show, I'm not sure. There's my zebras and stuff down there. This is the uh, ficus religiosa that's growing on the board. The roots are growing all around the trunk, growing in the moss, but they're not growing on the board very much. I'm not sure why that is. There's the tiger bark ficus growing in a 3D printed pot. It's growing quite well too. The yellow bonsai is doing really well, keeping it quite dry until the roots get established. Christmas cactus is doing well. My hibiscus bonsai in here is doing really well. My plumeria back there, don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's growing really well. My other ficus religiosa down here, you can see the roots growing across the top of the table there, really vigorously. Yeah, that tree's doing quite well too. All right, I'll close the door of the greenhouse back up. Let's check on our paint. Well, it's still shiny, so it's probably, yeah, it's still sticky. It's drying, but it's still got a ways to go. The paint is still a little sticky on the pot but it's dry enough that I can position my ruins towards the back of the planting. I want to position the ruins back here in the corner, but my rock is in the way, so I'm going to have to lift the rock out, position the ruins, and then possibly reposition the rock back in place. So I'll lift the rock out now, just like that. Try not to disturb the moss too much. So there's the rock. I will have to remove the moss from back here. Another piece of the rock here. Put that right there. And I'll have to remove some of the moss from here. There. And now, 
I can position the ruins. So I will have to dig it out a little bit just to flatten this area. So I'll take away some of the sand here. Actually, I'll move it over. Just to give a nice area to put the ruins. Let's see how they're fitting now. That's looking pretty good there. Got a nice flat surface for the ruins. Let's flip it around and see the front now. I think that's looking pretty good. I'll uh, work on my landscaping now. Here's a view of the planting now with the ruins in the background. Now I'm going to place the rock in front. It may be too much, I don't know. Sort of like somewhere there. Let's see what it looks like. So the rock is definitely too high there. It is possible if it was lowered down, wasn't sticking up so high, it could look good. But I don't think we need it. Um, I think with the ruins there, it'll look just fine. I'll just add the little rock in here. And I think that'll be enough. So I'm going to replant this moss kind of placing it in here. Don't know how much you can see of this with my big hand in the way, but uh, hopefully you can see something. A bit behind the temple here. Let's kind of lock it all in place. I'll add the rock in now. I'm going to do some pruning to the plants to get them a little more compact. I think that's all the pruning I can do on the trees for today. I'll let them grow and hopefully before the show, I'll get a chance to prune them back again. The monk looks extremely happy with the planting. I think I almost see a smile on his face. That's the end of this series, Aloe Bonsai and more. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for watching here in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>